guys, welcome back. I want to bring you guys. Ooh. <laughs> I want to bring you guys um, an empty video today. I have a bunch of products and a lot of it is hair care for some reason that I just need to throw out. So it's like I'm going to do an empty video and just get it out of the way. Um, and I'll also feature what I most recently used to dye my hair because I did re kind of freshen my hair up with a hair dye and I did it at home. So I wanted to kind of give you guys um, the deets on that. Um, but yeah, I have a lot of hair care, so just bear with me through it. And there is some makeup as well, so yeah, let's get right into it, you guys. Um, first off, let's just start with the thing that's like furthest away, so I can kind of build up slowly. Um, basically, the first thing I have is this Dove Style Plus Care Flexible Hairspray, and it's in um, level four, which is strong. This is more so less for me than it is for my fiance. He uses this in his hair like every single day to get ready. So this was more so for him than it was for me. But it is finished and I can tell you he enjoyed it because he already repurchased it. <laughs> um, next I also have a Dove Dry Shampoo and this is the volumizing one because I have figured out that I like the volumizing one more than I do the regular one. It just gives your hair a little bit of extra lift and volume and personally, I will take any extra lift and volume where I can get it. So, enjoyed this, already repurchased. Um, and I actually, ooh, look at that, I have a second one. Of course I do. Uh, <laughs> I love the Dove Dry Shampoo. It's just in every single um, empties video because honestly, it's the bomb and it's super cheap, especially if you get it on sale. It could be like three bucks sometimes. Next, I also have a, um, invisible uh, cooling deodorant and this one is from the secret brand and it's supposed to be for like active um, people basically it's supposed to help really like keep you smelling fresh throughout the day and if like you're somebody that runs around a lot it's supposed to kind of like give you a little burst of extra like smelly niceness and whatnot um, this particular scent was called cool and I really liked it. It smells really, really nice. It almost smells like a perfume, but like a really, really fresh, like nice perfume. And it does not linger to the point where it will mess with your scents if you're going to put a perfume on. It kind of is just nice to have a little waft of. And it just, it does linger throughout the day, which I really appreciate as well. And you smell nice for a longer period of time. When it comes to actually holding back your sweat, I didn't notice like the biggest like, whoa, this is so amazing. I mostly just really enjoyed the scent more than anything else. And for repurchase it or not repurchasing, I'm probably going to repurchase it, but right now I'm trying something new, so I'll keep you guys updated. Um, another a hair care product is this Rusk uh, Deep Shine Platinum Conditioner, and it's brightening boost for platinum, silver, gray, and white and blonde hair. Um, there's like the tiniest little bit at the bottom, and I can't get it out, um, but that's what the packaging looked like. It Basically, the whole thing was in with this like lavender kind of color and it was a nice conditioner i went through it pretty quickly though just because it's not that big of a bottle like comparably speaking it's not that big of a bottle um <laughs> it was nice though it made my hair feel really soft and when it came to brightening it really didn't do anything that crazy but it was nice um when it came to just making my hair feel like smooth and stuff like that would i repurchase no just because i honestly think i could probably find something better out there um, next, I also have this L'Oreal Hair Expertise Color Radiance Protecting Mask. This I more so used as almost a conditioner because my hair was really brittle when I got it done. And it was so bad to the point where I felt like I needed to use this as a conditioner. So this actually helped a lot. I think it was really nice. It felt really great on the hair and it did, it did leave your hair after like you were done with it feeling like you you did something to it like it was nice um, if you did just get your hair done and your hair is feeling really crappy I would definitely say to use something like this just because it kind of reinvigorates your hair completely sorry about that you guys there was like random noise um, but yeah that was great and I also wanted to mention this Tresemme um, healthy volume prep for all day body shampoo um, this is something I was using when I had darker hair it's not something I would recommend if you went blonde or if you have very light hair it is, has nothing to do with color it does nothing for your color it would probably strip your color color to be honest I did try using because I have a backup of this so I tried using it and it absolutely killed my color what is with all the damn noise I don't know if you guys can hear anything. If you can't, then yay. If you can, it's basically sirens going off. So, 
anyways, this is great if you don't really have color treated hair or it's dark. If you have a dark hair or just in general natural hair that's light, this is great for it. It makes your hair feel really nice and light. It helps if you have thin hair. It does give you a bit of a volume boost, but if you have color treated hair, don't even bother with it. Um, next, I also wanted to mention, this is just super random. I ran out of this multivitamin, but I really like this multivitamin, so I wanted to mention it in this video. That's why I kind of put it aside and saved it as well. And it's by Centrum and some Multi Gummies Multi Plus Beauty. And it's their hair, skin, and nails, but it also kind of doubles as a multivitamin. It was a weird one that I think they discontinued because I can't find it anywhere. If you guys do, though, this was amazing for your hair, your skin, your nails. Plus, it also helped a lot with my acne and just in general with my overall skincare. It completely like just helped so much to make my skin feel so much more smooth and just honestly less um, acne prone. So I really enjoyed this. I can't find it, but I'm trying something new right now and I'll update you guys on it if it's anything worth updating you guys on. Um, but I'm trying to find something more like this, which is like a gummy and a beauty one fused together. Um, next I have this shampoo as well. I have so much hair care, like, I don't even understand what happened. Um, the shampoo, I did mention it in a favorites video, it's by Ice Cream and it's a non-yellow, um, shampoo. And it's basically just literally for people with color-treated hair. It's supposed to keep your hair looking, um, blonde, less brassy. It doesn't, so it's supposed to not allow your hair to literally get yellow. And, um, I finished this up. I didn't repurchase it. I purchased something else instead use that and my hair completely went down the drain like that's why I actually had to refreshen it because the shampoo I got after I finished this one was more of a natural one but it was for color treated hair but it completely stripped my hair of color and it did give it more of that yellow look to it so um, now that I refreshed my hair and I'll show you in a second with what I used um, I actually have repurchased this and I am using it the only thing I want to warn you guys of do not leave this in your hair for a long portion of time like sometimes um, with shampoos that are supposed to be like non-yellow a lot of people will leave them in for like half like not half an hour but like five minutes so leave it sitting in do not let this sit in your hair because it will give your hair a purple tint to it i did let it sit in my hair once because i was just curious to see if it would really lighten it more and it lightened lightened it more but it gave my hair a slight purple tint to it um so that's the only thing I need to warn you of. Uh, that is common with really dark purple shampoos and with any other shampoos like, like green ones, really dark ones, it is common because it almost stains your hair if you leave it on that long. So just wash it out right after you guys finish lathering with it and you're perfectly fine and it'll still keep your hair super nice and vibrant. Um, so yeah, enjoyed that a lot. And the thing I've been pretty much talking about so many times in the last hair care item in here is this hair dye and it is by Feria, and it's a multifaceted shimmering color, um, three times the highlights, three times the reflectance in the color Very Light Beige Blonde. So that's what the packaging looks like on this. It's actually really nice packaging, I have to give it to them. It's a cute packaging and it definitely kind of draws you into it. Um, but it's basically supposed to give you um, light blonde but kind of more natural like not bleach blonde because there was was a bleach blonde option and i was like eh, i don't think i'm ready for that so i kind of gave this a try and all it really did honestly is refresh my already highlighted hair so it just kind of brought it back to a place where it is more kind of blondish more lightish but it didn't do anything crazy just because of the fact that it doesn't really have a lot of um it doesn't have a lot of bleach in it it's a lot more like natural and whatnot so yeah you can tell at the top I actually did start from right about over here and went down um, and you can tell it kind of gradually goes down and there is a lot of shine to it as well which is nice but it's not anything like too too crazy it didn't just all of a sudden go bleach blonde so it was nice and it did give my hair a nice touch up which is honestly what I needed like I said after that that one shampoo I used that completely ruined my highlights so um, enjoyed this and I definitely like the Ferrier brand. I've used them before. I really like them um, I think they do a great job when it comes to giving your hair that natural reflective pretty look to it um, So we'll probably purchase some hair dye from them in the future Cool now let's quickly move on to some skincare products. I finished this morning burst hydrating facial cleanser This is by clean and clear. Um, I usually always go for a clean and clear cleanser like this just because I that's what I used to honestly just take my any residual makeup that's left on my face after I've already wiped it off and to use for my Clarisonic because it really bubbles up nicely and it kind of foams well and the Clarisonic 
it really massages well with it so I enjoyed that a lot and I did repurchase but I repurchased the yellow sunny morning one um, I also ended up finishing this this is kind of random it's a lily, lily of the desert 99% aloe vera jelly and it's supposed to be basically soothing I got this more so because I saw some skincare videos that said that you know using aloe on your face and stuff like that might help um, lighten your scars didn't really enjoy using this kind of as a moisturizer I just didn't really like it but I got severely burnt this summer and I put this all over I slathered this on and then I slathered moisturizer on top of it and it's the only thing that honestly healed my burns and didn't leave me peeling like there's no tomorrow so I still peeled but it wasn't that bad at all and like I said I just slathered this on plus another moisturizer on top and it really was like a super like dual layer of protection now it's really not the summer anymore so you're probably not gonna get very burnt but for next year keep in mind aloe vera shit's amazing um, I also finished up the St. Ives Blackhead Clearing Green Tea Scrub, and this is more so, again, my fiancé's than mine. He really loves this. Um, he uses it constantly, and it's just a really nice, really simple kind of um, natural scrub. So. Alrighty, I also finished up this Ocean Salt Face and Body Scrub. I love the Ocean Salt Scrub from Lush. I literally love this scrub. Anytime I'm breaking out, this scrub has to be on my shelf ready to be used okay it's just it's, it's literally liquid inside here from water that was left over but this scrub is honestly bomb and i love it if you guys have acne or problematic skin or you need something to really like completely clean out your skin and make it feel like brand new try that out it's it's amazing <laughs> it's just it's amazing like ever since i kind of learned about it and got introduced to it i have been obsessed with it so yeah all right for actual oh one more thing um clarisonic brush head in sensitive um has completely been used up i'm done with it it's uh i think you were supposed to use their stuff for like either three or i think it's three months is the lifespan of each head i use this for six months because i was just lazy and the way i use this is not with like a dirty makeup filled face i actually already have a clean face um but then i use my clarisonic after so it lasts me a lot longer um i like their sensitive one it's my favorite one i'm trying one right now that's supposed to be for brightening and i actually it's honestly it does nothing so <laughs> the sensitive one is my go-to okay for a quick couple products makeup wise um i have this voluminous million lashes excess from l'oreal this is just a mascara i used up it was okay nothing crazy it was great for separating the lashes but i wouldn't repurchase it and i also have this uh revlon color stay concealer in the color one fair this i actually it's a full bottle and i just hate it it gives your skin this weird gray cast it settles in all your fine lines and i just personally don't really like it if you guys don't have a lot of fine lines you might really like it but i don't have that many but whichever ones i do have it just accentuated all of them and it almost gave my under eyes a gray cast so i was like i just don't like it i even tried to just use it on my face kind of as like a highlight type thing underneath here and stuff like that and i still didn't really like it, it, it like it just it looked really thick and like it was built up and i just didn't enjoy it so that's just getting chucked out I also finished this um, Fit Me um, concealer in the color 10 Fair. This was great while I was tanned this summer. It was my under eye concealer while I was tanned. And I, you guys know I just love the Fit Me concealers. They're just really light and they they just really melt into your skin really well and look natural without like while still concealing, which is the nicest part about it. Um, I finished up this Wet n Wild retractable brow pencil in the color ash brown you guys know i was really obsessed with this this one has like the tiniest bit left um nice fully nice um head to it as well i have something i'm using now that i do like more that you guys will see in my favorites video i believe um but this was nice and for the price five bucks you can't really beat it the only thing i would wish they did is just make it slightly less creamy because it's almost a little too creamy and it smudges easily um i also finished up this maybelline um brow <laughs> define a brow this is something i found at uh winners and this is a product that has been discontinued they came out with something new for it if you guys watched um my last last haul it was in that and i just i used to love this so i got it just because i was nostalgic and i really enjoyed it and finished it up um i also ended up pretty much hitting pan and just being done with this it's the deep throat <laughs> 
uh, NARS blush and it looks like this I have slightly some left you can tell but I'm just so annoyed with this because it cracked once I put it back together and it just kept constantly just breaking and like it pissed me off so I'm just done with it it's a beautiful blush I loved it it's one of my favorite go-to summer blushes but right now I'm just like done also finished up this Becca Ever Matte Shine Proof Foundation. Um, this is in the shade Cashmere. This was a nice foundation, but a little too full coverage when it comes down to it. It just kind of, you can tell you had foundation on with it, even though you blended it in. But it was a really nice foundation, and I did enjoy it. I'm not repurchasing it right now, but it was nice. Also finished this Age Rewind Radiant Firming Makeup. Um, the color is 200 Creamy Natural. You guys probably have seen this foundation in the favorites video. I really like this foundation. Um, I think they discontinued it as well and brought something out that is, I'm pretty sure, pretty similar to it. I like this because it gave your face um, kind of a beautiful lit from within radiance, but it still kept your oils at bay. Um, but yeah, like I said, I think it's discontinued right now because I haven't seen it at the drugstore in a while and I am trying some stuff out that I like just as much. And I think I've mentioned this before, but for some reason, it, I just found it kind of at the bottom of my empties um, bin. And it's this uh, ColourPop No Filter Concealer. And mine is just gross. It's so gross. Ugh. It's in the color Fair. I don't like this concealer. I thought I really did. The more I used it, though, the more I noticed it just kind of made all the lines underneath my eyes kind of more obvious. And again, it just gave me a weird gray cast. And it just looks thick like it just I didn't like it so I know a lot of people love this concealer if it works for you it works for you at the end of the day I'm not bashing the product it's more so just for me it didn't work personally um, there's other products that do work better for me that for other people might not work so please keep that in mind and that actually concludes my empties video that was everything you guys I hope you enjoyed it uh, there's quite a lot of products this time if you stuck through thank you. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it and leave me any suggestions down below. Bye guys!